It's a part of how people and products we use get around. Trains. Currently, these all run at average speeds of more than 50 miles an hour. But many neighbors giving their input on the future of high-speed rail service in upstate New York say they want these trains to speed up. I think it would tremendously benefit upstate because it would allow us an easy connection to New York City. We could get down to the city in the morning easily, come back that same evening if you had a good high-speed rail. Driving's okay for short distances, but I don't want to be driving all the way to New York City. I don't like taking the bus. It gets caught in traffic, and flying is kind of miserable. The current plan to start up high-speed rail between the Capital Region and Niagara Falls has five separate options. These all have varying speeds from 79 miles an hour, increasing up to 125. Under this plan, public money would be used to fund a project which would expand railways in specific areas across the state. This could cost up to roughly $15 billion. Other neighbors voicing their opinions tonight say that is simply too much. You know, it's a lot of money and we have, a, we have an interstate highway system that was built by you know, Eisenhower back in the 50s. Americans love their cars. Uh, pretty much going to jump into them and go. After listening to the community at the remaining public hearings throughout upstate New York, state DOT officials expect to have a plan in place over the next 6 to 12 months. For now reporting from Syracuse, I'm Alex Rosilla.